Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Cynic Alex, and today we're going to be going through Combat Alliance Battle. This is something I wanted to show you guys since I got Tier 2 Moon Knight because honestly, he makes this so much easier and so much better. And we can solo this with him if we are careful. Okay, guys? But I just realized that I'm actually <clears throat> missing Deathlock. So I'm going to go back and unequip Deathlock's uniform. This is the probably only annoying part about having Deathlock as your alliance battle leader. That you have to switch out his uniform every single time you go from combat to blast. But actually, I don't use him for blast anymore. So I should probably keep the uniform off. Anyways, guys, here we go. So here is the team that I use. Deathlock lead, Moon Knight, and Warwolf. Warwolf will buff either Moon Knight or deathlock depending on the situation and then they'll go to town some other viable teams guys are uh, deathlock leadership and lead with uh he's not here but with uh kingpin and then groot um and those are pretty much the best teams i've seen guys some people try to use uh luke cage's leadership to get that physical um defense or that protection uh but i honestly don't think that she hulk's leadership works in this case and most of the other characters are just not very good, except, of course, Tier 2 Iron Fist. But I like Tier 2 Moon Knight better, so we're going to clear it with him today. All right, guys? Hopefully, we can get this on the first shot. Let's get it going. <clears throat> Apologies today, guys, for my voice. It might sound pretty awful. More than usual. But here we go. So the only thing, just like the Shirog clear uh, with, this, with the Blast AB... Uh, the Blast Alliance Battle Day, the only thing that's going to stop us from getting that perfect score is going to be that surprise blast by the Frost Beast. Okay, this is a Frost Beast Day, so there are intermittent waves of guys, and then Papa, Papa Frost Beast is going to come out and try to kill us. But we don't want him to kill us, there he is, so we need to kill him. But of course, at the beginning, we need to wait for all his goons to spawn so we can maximize our score. And that's what I'm doing right now. I actually should switch to Moon Knight because he can self-heal. So when he takes damage here, it's not that important. I just need to be careful not to use Moon Knight's 6-star skill. And actually, uh, because I might kill the Frost Beast by accident, I'm just using the auto attack, guys. Alright, well, it's not even auto attack. It's manual basic attack. Because I'm a basic bitch. Alright, there we go. That's wave 1. So that's basically the... Um, that's basically the formula, guys. Uh, Moon Knight is not very good at clearing waves of, of creatures, of, of these mobs, of these Ultron uh, baddies. So uh, that's what uh, Deathlock is here for. And also, Deathlock is here to boost Moon Knight's damage because he's got that 30% physical leadership, uh, which is excellent. Uh, Moon Knight is not the, you know... Uh, most highest DPS character. He does need a little bit of help in that department. And so in the latter stages of this fight, when you get up to, you know, 180, 200,000 points, and you need to clear pretty quickly because of the threat of the Frost Beast just blasting you, ganking you in the face, all right, shrekking you into submission. Um, it's really good to have those buffs, both from the leadership of Deathlock and the uh, Werewolf buff. Also, Moon Knight is a self-buff, which he looks so badass when he does it. He's glowing right now. He's got that crit rate and crit uh, chance and crit damage buff, which is, I think is excellent. It looks so cool. He's basically uh, Marvel's version of Batman. So here we can clear all the mobs and do a lot of damage because Deathlock's six-star skill. Okay, guys, Deathlock's uh, six-star skill, this one with the little pink uh, lightning bolts and the uh, yellow... Looks like a yellow like bird pellet. All right, some bird feed. Uh, that one will do more chain hit damage. So the more enemies it hits, the more damage it does. Just the same as uh, Agent 13 six star skill. So if you have a big group of guys, you can do a lot more damage to each one if you're hitting a lot of them at the same time. And if you're really good, or if you really want to improve your um, technical play at this game, from all the videos I've watched and from some self-testing, the best way to do it is um, once the Frost Beast has spawned, you then want to uh, round up as many of the guys that come with the Frost Beast as you can. You have to do it pretty quickly because the Frost Beast can Shrek them all to death if you're not careful. And then you blast them with the six-star skill, but you catch the, um, 
you catch the frost beast in the in the range or in the the, the radius of the AOE skill of the area of effect skill and then it does a big chunk of change to to the frost beast as well it'll do like you know north of 200,000 damage in one shot to him so um, that's really good in this situation guys a lot of the really pro players will be able to pull off this combo with deathlock where they do his three star skill and then they do his six star skill and they don't get hit at all i have no idea what kind of you know la sacrificial lambs what kind of you know weird uh sacrifice rituals they're doing in their basements to get the kind of rng you need to not get hit when you do that i don't know if they've tweaked their games if they get special iframes that i don't fucking have but as you guys saw there i always got hit uh, there was never a time where I wasn't getting hit at least once or twice. Uh, it doesn't matter so much when you get hit with uh, Moon Knight, because as long as he doesn't get one-shotted, he will just gain all of that health back. So I just need to watch the Frost Beast here and watch for that roar, because it shouldn't one-shot Moon Knight. Moon Knight's got a lot of HP, but it will one-shot him if he's low on HP, so I have to be careful. But right now, I can just kind of face tank... And this is what I mean by easy to play. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just tapping all of the skills. Um, I, maybe I have a certain order that I tap them in, but that's about it. Uh, so I'm really hoping to get hit here. Because I want him to... Uh, there's the blast. That's good. Yeah, I wanted him to heal me. So you guys saw that self-heal for about 16,000. Uh, that's that's Moon Knight, guys. That's straight up what you're getting when you tier 2 this character. And I just think that's fucking awesome. You know, he's fighting, he's fighting, he's getting hit, and then suddenly he's like, oh, hello, and he got all his health back. So, here I want to use Warwolf's six-star skill, because these guys have way too much uh, HP. So we need to kind of take them down a little bit faster. You can clear mobs with Moon Knight. He's got a couple of kind of AoE skills. They're not the best, but they work. Uh, this Batman kind of batarangs from the sky one is probably the best. I'm sure I'm not helping Netmarble here by uh, continuing to reference DC characters, but uh, as far as cinematically going, as far as cinematics go, Marvel has such a huge lead on DC right now, it doesn't, I don't think it matters. Um, or at least I don't give a shit about it. So yeah, you guys saw there, Moon Knight was getting peppered, getting just hammered with, uh, with damage from these guys, and then poof, got his health back. So this is like no brain, uh, brainless play. I don't have to try really and i'm not uh i'm just you know making sure he doesn't take huge amounts of damage because there is a seven second cooldown i say that a bit sarcastically because i think i have to try a little bit to not uh to not make it to the seven second cooldown before i get the heal again but uh, i'm sure there are people out there who would do that and then complain to me well cynic alex you told me to get tier two moon knight and he you said he was invincible you said he could you know beat infinity thanos and i didn't say any of that shit uh i just said he's really good and he's really easy to play and as you guys can see here i'm playing like a jackass and it doesn't matter moon knight's tier two oh fudge okay so this is a failed run as you guys saw um moon knight got blasted in the face with uh that that thing and kind of ironically so because i was just saying that here that's what I was talking to you guys before about getting the Frost Beast uh, to, to sit in the blast of Deathlock's six-star skill. It didn't do that much damage, but it did do uh, a good chunk of it, guys. So I am not going to continue here. Uh, that's bullshit. I'm going to reset my game, and then I will get another shot at it. So if anyone's wondering, guys, you can just close your game, close your app on your phone or on your tablet, however you're playing, or you can close your blue stack, stacks or knocks if you're playing on your phone, and then you just open it up again, and you'll have your run uh, ready for you. You'll have another try at the, uh, at the, at the day for Alliance Battle. Um, there's no penalty for doing this, and I, I, from what I've heard, this is how the pros manage to max out their score every day because they keep playing until they have it. So as you guys can see there, I still have my one attempt. Uh, it only it only uh, locks in the attempt and it locks in your score once you press continue or cancel. I guess not continue because then you'd keep going with your score with a new team. But if you press cancel, with a, which I think everyone does, and I'm sorry if you're spending crystals to continue in combat alliance battle, 
um, but you press uh, cancel and then that, that's when it locks in your score. So if you just have it on that cancel screen, guys, and then you just quit out of the game, you're not going to lose your attempt, guys. I'm not going to record another one for today because I'm a bit short on time. I'm sorry to say this, guys, but I uh, have to uh, get on a flight soon. My um, vacation is over. But uh, that was basically the strategy, minus getting killed with Moon Knight. That was basically the strategy for beating combat uh, alliance battle with Moon Knight. Um, I'm sorry that I can't show you guys that I can clear it, but I can absolutely get to 265, 275,000 points. Uh, I've done it before since getting Tier 2 Moon Knight, and I had not been able to do it before I got Tier 2 Moon Knight. I tried a lot of different team setups. I tried, you know, Carnage. I tried Groot. I tried Kingpin. I tried, you know, uh, Hulk Buster, Iron Fist, all this stuff, Warwolf. And I couldn't do it, but um, everything that I've read and everything that I've played myself says that Moon Knight is a very viable uh, and pretty easy option to clear cl combat AB. And I'll give it up to my man Iron Fist in the yellow spandex. He can do it as well too, because I know there are a lot of Iron Fist fans out there who are salty as fuck when I don't mention him. So guys, that's going to be the video for today. I'm sorry I couldn't show you the clear, but I will get it to you guys eventually. Of course, I'll probably just piggyback it at the beginning of another video some other day. But of course, guys, as usual, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.